Ironically enough, one of my best jokes was about Dr. Robert Goddard. And it was about his first liquid fuel rocket history rocket launch. It only went 41 feet. But I was telling this joke, and I was nervous, I was scared, and I could feel the tension myself. And I had so much anxiety that I said the rocket took off and it went vertically. <laughs> At that moment, that moment, I realized what I did. This is vertical, right? Where you're from? In Canada, too? Australia? Or is it backwards? In? Okay. I realized what I did. In that instant, I reacted. I said, ah, shoot. And everybody laughed. Why are you laughing? That's not where you're supposed to laugh, but I'll take it. That's the only laugh I got that night. <laughs> so I walked off stage, this man put his arm around my shoulder. He said, don't worry, man, it's just your first time. I remember thinking, don't worry, it's just my first time. Did you see what I did? <laughs> I got a laugh. <laughs> I am the king of comedy. <laughs> see, no one told me I could do this. <coughs> but now, here's where it's different. Some of you have heard that, you have heard that story before. Some of you. Oh, there's no some of you. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> but here's my question to you, whether you've heard it before or not. What happened? Why did they laugh? Why do you think they laughed? Failure. What's that? Failure. I failed? I became myself in that moment. I forgot about my 26 friends that I dragged there to force myself to not chicken out. I know me, I'm a guy who that before in my life chickened out all the time. See a cute girl, <laughs> no I can't do it. <laughs> okay, I brought friends, I said if I, I don't care if I kick or scream or anything, you make sure I go up there because I was gonna do it once and never ever again. But I wasn't gonna chicken out. In fact, at the time I was dating a woman uh, who was in AA and I used to go to the AA meetings with her. I learned so much about life at those meetings. I stopped drinking, even though I didn't have a problem, because I realized how much it became a part of my life. Even though I wasn't an alcoholic, I didn't get drunk. But I was drinking because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have a beer with your friends. Why? I would either fall asleep or get really obnoxious. There was no middle ground. But here's what I noticed from my two months that I've never talked about before. The two months that I went to open mic nights, I watched other people who had to drink to have the guts to get up. I don't know where it came from. It might have been Brian Tracy or uh, Tony Robbins, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it all me. I might bomb, I might succeed, but it's gonna be all me. It was one of the best decisions I ever made because I had that moment. I guarantee you, if I was drinking under the influence of alcohol of any amount, I probably wouldn't have had that moment. It would have dulled my senses, but that's where I connected with the audience. Now, a lot of people have heard and seen the story before, but let's revisit that moment. <laughs> Does anyone here live in New England? Yeah. 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 I, had, I figured I had to get something to see. Did anybody ever notice that any, every other small town in New England takes one little small historical fact and makes it the greatest event in the world? <laughs> Sorry for my voice, like, fluttering. But um, a lot of towns are like this. Um, I did, I, I was doing some research, like places like Lexington, you know, the first um, revolutionary skirmish happened there, um, what was his name, I can't even think of his name, obviously he was real famous, Eli Whitney was in Westboro, you know, born in Westboro, um, I was doing some research and I discovered that the, the actual 
The first dentist to use ether actually happened in Charlton, Massachusetts. And yes. an interesting thing about this was he actually experimented himself. You know, nobody else had done this before. And, and he, he started with animals and then he used his own dog. Fine, laugh it up. Let's dig up one of your videos. <laughs> if I can go from that to winning the world championship, to getting together with Craig Valentine and doing a seminar for three people, to this, what can you do? What can you do? Stage time.